hey, you know Merge New Zealand's Deaf Culture Workshop? What does that entail? Well, it's a two hour workshop and it's presented by a deaf presenter along with a New Zealand Sign Language interpreter. Participants come along and are able to watch and learn and receive information about deaf culture and a deaf awareness. Okay, so what's the content or program of this workshop? Well, the program really covers a variety of topics. For example, uh, the terminology relating to deaf or hard of hearing, what those label means and what the difference is. Also covers communication, so the best way to communicate with a deaf person. By gestures, using written English, lip reading, the workshop covers this topic. Or, for example, having a deaf friendly environment. How people are able to understand a deaf way or deaf people's needs in the environment. And also information over resources. So the technology that's available out there for deaf people to use. Oh, okay. So I'm just wondering, for those people out there who are interested to register for the course and come along, what's the benefit for them? Well, really, it's a great workshop. It's really important because people who work with uh, the deaf community, for example, teachers, families, employers, doctors, can be a variety of occupations, frontline staff. Often when these people meet the deaf community, there's a lot of communication breakdown. And they're not really sure how to communicate with the deaf person. So if they come along to their workshop, they can really gain an understanding of, of how to communicate and also gain an awareness of the deaf community. So when they go back to work, they're able to uh, understand more about deaf culture. Wow, so it sounds like this workshop is really helpful for staff or really the general public have an understanding about deaf people and how to communicate with them. So that's a really worthwhile opportunity. And this workshop really helps people to really reflect and have a self-reflection and perhaps when they go home or back to work they might want to have a further commitment and join a New Zealand Sign Language course for ongoing professional development. Or perhaps when they go home or the workplace they may want to make changes in their environment, for example, putting in some flashing lights for deaf people so they can have more access, or captions on their videos. So there's a variety of ways to make that environment more deaf friendly. And it's also really about deaf people being humans and having their own culture and what that is. So really exposing people to that. Wow, so that's really a fantastic professional development opportunity for people to grab. Thank you. So you're welcome to register and sign up. Have a look through our website there and you'll be able to see more information. See you there.